Pick, which are fancy words that means it gives you the poopies and it makes you sweat. <laughs> so why in nature would I ever want a case of the poopies like diarrhea, right? Well, I'll tell you why. This plant right here, that's our state tree, the cabbage palm. Now, have you guys ever heard of heart of palm, like to eat it? Yeah. We call it swamp cabbage down here in Florida. That right there is where it comes from. So if I was eating too much swamp cabbage out in the woods, it's really high in fiber and it might stop me up. I might need a natural laxative for the case of the poopies to help get my stomach flowing right again. Because in nature, you know, there's not a Walgreens, but Walgreens is all around us. This is the laxative. Now, if I wanted to uh, make myself sweat, like let's say I start feeling the flu, I could self-induce my own fever by taking the leaves and boiling this plant and making a tea. And it's gonna make me sweat and I'll sweat that fever, that sweat that sickness out faster than I normally would have. You know, so it's very, very cool. The roots of this plant is, is nature's neosporin. It's very high in antiviral and antibacterial properties. So I would take the roots if I had a cut or a scrape or a bite, something like that, and I'd mash those roots up and add a little bit of water, make it like a paste and then put that over it. And it works better than neosporin does. So believe it or not, guys, you know, why would I sit there and run to town to go to Walgreens when I got Walgreens all around me? I got a headache, we'll walk up to a willow tree and scratch some of the bark off and you chew on it like a piece of gum. It's where aspirin gets its medicine from. Well, they, 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 aspirin is synthetic, but they got their, their formula, their idea from the aspen tree and the willow tree. Um, acetic acid, or I can't remember the name of the acid that, that's used, but yeah, it's the same thing. So why go spend some money on the on the aspirin and go into town when you can just do it right here. Pretty cool. So are there similar plants to the coffee plant that would be toxic that we should be aware of? Or no, if um, see no like nothing that, that looks safe. exactly <laughs> like that. And, and good point as far as if you know. Nowadays, there's no reason to not know. Yeah. Um, the Google app, guys, is the coolest freaking thing in the world. Um, it's like, I could take a picture of a business card on the Google app and it puts all the contacts or, or all the information in my contacts. I could take the Google app. You click the app on your phone and then click the little camera feature in the search bar. And I could walk up to that plant, snap a picture of it, and it's going to tell me what it is. That's a great tool to kind of learn some of these things. But as far as by looks, once you start getting the familiarity, you're not going to notice something that looks just like the wild coffee. So that's a good point. Anybody's ever seen that movie uh, Into the West? or Into the Wild, in the wild yeah. um, with the Eddie Vedder yeah. soundtrack. You know, um, that guy was a huge inspiration for me, but that guy was also the reason why I, I took up plant and botany so well, because, you know, the poor guy <laughs> ate the wrong plant and died out there. <laughs>